I hate that this is not an original idea that I have come up with. People make these videos all the time, but I'm just sort of joining the crowd and making one too. I hate that I'm being a follower. <laughs> when people are like, haters are my motivator. I don't care about the haters. When YouTubers in particular make videos, taking time out of their day to address their haters just to point out that they don't care about their haters. Like, do you see the irony in that? Like, yo, I just wanted to say, I don't care about all the haters. I know I've been getting a lot of hate lately. I just want to say that haters, I don't care about you. Like, I, it, you used to bother me, but honestly, I just laugh now. Like, these comments, you guys make me laugh. Like, they're so funny and so stupid that I just don't care about you. I'm just, you know, making this five minute video and gonna film, edit, and upload it, <laughs> taking time out of my day to tell you that, you know, I don't care about you because it doesn't bother me. You're stupid. I hate that you can't see my face that much. When people have confrontation issues, if you do not like me, please do not play that whole little he said, she said game, but then come up to me and act like everything is perfectly fine. When the fan of my computer comes on when I'm filming on this MacBook, but I like the quality kind of. I like how it's kind of fuzzy and you can't really see me as well as a high definition camera. I like that. I just don't like that you buzz. Sorry, kid. Middle school drama. I can't even, I could elaborate on this so greatly, but I'm choosing not to and just specifying it by saying middle school relationships. What? I mean, like, I dated people for a day. Like, I'm sure you did too. We all had those middle school relationships. Horrors. When people don't put quotation marks when they're quoting something. This irritates me so much. When I see a really clever status on Facebook, I'm like, oh, that's really funny. That's, that's cool that you thought of that. Wow, I didn't know you were that clever. Then I see the same thing on Twitter that one of those teen quotes people have written. And I'm like, wow, that's kind of weird. They had the same clever idea as you. Weird. Huh. And like, turns out that that's actually a song lyric to a song that not a lot of people know of. And I'm like, oh, those deep thoughts weren't them. With some unknown band. People who fish for compliments. I, no, please do not come up to me when you have spent the last three hours doing your hair just to come up to me or a guy and say, oh, I'm having such a bad hair day. Just so I can reply, what are you talking about? Your hair looks so pretty right now. Then, just so you can reply, Really? Oh, thank you. What? The amount of time I waste doing unnecessary stuff, such as staring at the wall at night. The Sopa and Pippa act. Look it up! When dumb people try to act smart, and like there are other dumb people around who believe them, when honestly the person who's talking has no idea what they're talking about, and they're completely incorrect, and you're just sitting there, sort of like in awe almost, of how people are actually listening to them and taking in what they're saying when they're actually making absolutely no sense. Copyright. Blech. And I just quite frankly wish it didn't exist. Copycats. I know copying is the greatest form of flattery, but do not try and deny that you got that shirt because of me. I know you did. Girl, I'm not stupid. Those inseparable lovey-dovey couples. Like, you know the guy from school. And, I mean, he seems kind of macho, whatever. Not saying that there's something wrong with the macho guy being whipped, but then when you see the guy with his girlfriend, and they're, like, not just holding hands. They're, like, up close, like, basically in the hugging position, but walking. Who do you think you are? There was this track couple. And they, you would have thought that they had not seen each other in months, years. That he had gone off to Iraq, and she had just seen him for the first time. That's how they looked when they saw each other after running a lap. And how cranky I get after naps. Naps always seem like a good idea at the time, and then I wake up and I'm just like in a bad mood for the rest of the day. And I regret it every time. Guys in my school who talk like, yo, do, what up my brother? Yeah, I see you, I see you. Chi, my brother. Yo, and then we swear. Girl, you put me on blast last night. If you had not seen them talking in person, they could basically pass for having a sock in their mouth while talking. Not even kidding, I think I have a sock. Oh yeah. No, what up my brother, how you been, dog? I hate April's character currently on Grey's Anatomy because she just rubs me the wrong way right now. 
I'm just like, April, April, get out of this scene. When people say that they're forever alone, oh my god, saw a really cute couple at the mall today, forever alone. Shut up, you just need to learn to settle. When people rub my tummy, like, like guys might think it's, that I like it, like, oh, I'll just, but no, and I think maybe other girls like it. I personally don't. When people scratch their heads, like, this irritates me. Like, when someone's sitting there like this. Like, I know you got an itch, and that's kind of rude of me to say I don't like when you scratch your itches on your head. I just, I hate that. Ah. People who make these noises. People who snap their food. The way my feet feel in flats. And don't say you don't know what I'm talking about. At the end of the day, when you take your feet out of those flats, you know that feeling. Your feet feel gross. Vegetarians who eat fish. And I am not a vegetarian. I don't have a lot of knowledge on vegetarians, but I know that when you eat fish and you call yourself a vegetarian, isn't that actually called being a pescatarian? That's, I'm pretty sure. If I'm, call me out if I'm incorrect, but that's what I think so I hate. When someone's like, I'm a vegetarian, why not I eat fish? It just, to someone who's not that well informed, kind of rubs me the wrong way, because I'm like, what do you mean? You eat fish, fish are an animal. When the teacher's collecting the homework in class, they're like passing up the worksheets, they're grabbing it from you, and you got that mindset like, yeah, read it and weep, look at the homework I did. And then the teacher's like, you didn't do the back, and you're like, it was a back? When my stomach growls in class, as it just creates an uncomfortable situation for everyone, as I mean, like, you hear it, no one says anything. When people take my ideas, because I'm just like, I thought of that. Stop, go away. I hate that the video ends here because I feel like it's kind of unfinished. Comment below one thing that you hate, I'll read them all, and thumbs up someone's comment if you hate it too. You can have a cool little hate session going on in the comments. Bye.